Hey, praise the Lord, it is I, Brother Clinton, once again, and you're back on the Word Prophet channel, a Christian ministry dedicated to the purpose of teaching the Word of God to the people in the churches of God, so that we can go back to serving God in spirit and in truth, as our Lord Jesus Christ commanded. You know, in these last days more than ever, there are a plethora, virtually multitudes, of denominations. Religious groups who have denominated themselves, which means that they have rejected the name of Jesus Christ and taken unto themselves a lesser name, like Baptist or Lutheran or Pentecostal or Methodist or so on and so forth. And the reason that they have rejected the name of Jesus Christ and taken unto themselves a lesser name is because they're not teaching the doctrine of Christ. And the scripture says, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. So because they're, they're not abiding in the doctrine of Christ, they don't have God, and so they can't be called the Church of Jesus Christ because they're not. So they have to make up another name, like Baptist, Lutheran, Methodist, Episcopalian, Church of God in Christ, African Methodist, Episcopal, Catholic. I could go on and on and on. You get the idea. And in all these various religious cults, they each have their own little sayings and phrases that are um, that are indigenous to their particular group, uh, unique to their particular group. And there are some things that are that are shared among these groups. And one of those is a religious saying that I want to talk to you about real quick, and that is baptismal formula. A baptismal formula. It's something that I first heard of when I was growing in the Lord and I was fellowshipping with the apostolics and the Pentecostals for a little while. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm not an apostolic or a Pentecostal. And when I was fellowshipping with them and I even preaching from their pulpits, I told them that I'm not an apostolic or a Pentecostal because there's no such thing in the Church of Jesus Christ as an apostolic or a Pentecostal. We are to obey the apostles' doctrine. We are not to be called apostolics. And the apostolic doctrine is not the same as the apostles' doctrine. Um, that's just a kind of a little play on words that the devil uses to keep or to to beguile people into thinking that they're going into a church which is obeying the apostles' doctrine because they call themselves apostolic. But the apostolic churches are not obeying the apostles' doctrine. If they were, they wouldn't be calling themselves apostolic. They would be called the Church of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Even as Paul said, for this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. So, the Church of Jesus Christ is called by the name of our Master, our husband, our bridegroom, Jesus Christ. We're not called anything else. But back to the point. Baptismal formula. There is no such thing as a baptismal formula anywhere in the scripture. But baptismal formula is a phrase that is used very commonly in some denominations, and specifically the Pentecostal and Apostolic denominations. Also Trinitarian groups use the, 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 the phrase baptismal formula. It's a theological term that has nothing to do with the scripture, as, our, as is the case with all theological terms. Um, the difference between the false churches and the true church is that the false churches, are, their doctrines are based on theology. And the true church of Jesus Christ is based on the word of God. Theology is witchcraft. It is the satanic art of twisting around the meanings of scripture, or the meaning of scripture, by the purposeful misuse of words and phrases in foreign languages that you don't understand, like Greek and Hebrew. And so the purpose of theology, <coughs> pardon me, is to beguile you into thinking that things that aren't written in the scripture actually are. And so the common denominator between all the denominations is the fact that they have departed from the doctrine of Christ. And that the tool, the tool that they have used to depart from the doctrine of Christ is called theology. And so theological words and phrases are words that are not found in the scripture. But the scripture says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So if I'm talking to somebody about God, then I should be speaking the words of God, the oracles of God. And if I can't tell somebody about God without using God's own word, and I have to depart from God's word to use words and phrases that I learned in church somewhere, then the doctrine that I'm teaching isn't true. You see, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So the reason that theologians use the term baptismal formula is because they want to argue about the supposed difference between what Jesus commanded in Matthew 28, 19 and what the apostles preached in Acts 2, 38. 
And so they want to say, the Trinitarians want to say, well, the baptismal formula is in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And the apostolics say, no, 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 the baptismal formula is in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, as a Christian minister, I have news for you. There's no such thing as a baptismal formula. And the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ. You see, the apostles preached, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And the reason that they preached that is because that's exactly what Jesus Christ told them to preach. Because he said unto them, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. They didn't have any problem understanding what he was saying because they knew who he was. They didn't imagine in their wildest dreams that he was a part of a trinity of gods. They believed his word. When he said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, they heard that and they understood it. He didn't say, A third power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, and I share it with my other gods, God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. They never imagined any such nonsense. That's, that is paganism, and they understood that they, they understood the Trinity doctrine to be paganisms because that's, that's what the Hindus believed. That's what the Babylonians believed. That's what the Egyptians believed in. But they were Hebrew men. They didn't imagine that their God was a trinity of persons. They knew who he was. When Jesus Christ said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, they knew that they were standing before their Lord and their God. He is one. God is a spirit, and he was manifest in the flesh. The Bible says God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. So they knew when Jesus said, Go ye therefore and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, they knew what he was talking about, and they did exactly as he commanded them. They didn't have any baptismal formula. There is no such thing as a baptismal formula. A formula is a mixture of ingredients that you use to make a chemical compound or a recipe or a mixed drink or whatever. There is no formula in the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's not a prescription. It's not a chemical compound. It's not a drink at a bar. It is the power of God unto salvation. There is no formula for it. All you have to do is just believe what the apostles preached and do it. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all those that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. That's what the apostles began to preach from the day that the New Testament began. And you know what? That includes you. If you're willing and able to believe God's word, and obey his gospel, then you will know that it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. May this message be a blessing to all those who love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen.